Eric Rokiski here. To do the hip thrust march, grab a chair or a bench. From there, bring yourself up to the chair or bench and make sure your shoulder blades are above the chair. Next, you're going to walk your feet out until the knee is over the hips. So the knee is over the ankle, right? So when I bridge at the top of this movement, I wanna see the knee stacked directly over the ankle. If I go out too far, that's more of a hamstring movement. And if I go too tight, that's more of a quad movement. When using a chair, it might bother your lower, your mid back a little bit. So find a comfortable position. All right, so we're here. Hips are bridged up now, my knee is stacked. I'm in a good position and I'm gonna look over the horizon and I'm gonna pull the knee into my chest like so. I'm gonna drive through the floor throughout the motion, hold for a count and then rotate to the other side. Switch sides here. Pull in, hold, exhale. <sighs> Rinse and repeat. A, a common tendency you might see is people might start arching and doing their little kangaroo pooch throughout the movement. We do not want that. So think about exhaling, <sighs> tucking that tailbone, getting a nice solid position, staying balanced. If you have like a plate of food here, don't spill the plate of food, right? So here, I push through, I hold that position, I check my glute, is it working? Yes, it's rock solid. That means it's on and that's what you want, people. So we're here pulling this knee in and then switching sides like so. If you wanna make it harder, you can reach the arms up too. That's going to put a lot more tension on the glutes. From the front perspective, we wanna make sure just like our other bridging movements, that our knee isn't caving in. We wanna make sure that that knee is staying directly in line with the hip. So when you set up, set up in a good position. Don't set up too wide. That's a no-no, right? We wanna be right here, nice hip distance apart, in good alignment, and then we bridge. That knee stays stacked. Fatigue is going to be felt in your abdominals and the glutes. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date and learn how to train against gravity correctly.